Five to nine. When Yvette Cooper, in her Labour leadership campaign, says she wants a feminist approach to the economy, as she did in this programme yesterday, what does she mean in practice? It's been a branch of economic thinking for a long time, but it doesn't, it's fair to say, feature much in public discussion. So let's explore it. Jane Humphreys is Professor of Economic History at Oxford University. Polly Trinow is a campaigner working for the Women's Budget Group, which describes itself as a network of feminist economists. Jane Humphreys, just explain what you understand by feminist economics and what part it plays in theoretical thinking. Feminist economics offers a critical evaluation of economics as a discipline. It questions the extent to which economics is is positive and objective, and it shows how its models and methods are biased towards masculine perspectives and masculine topics. And this has left economics ill-suited to the study of certain issues and processes, Um, where cultural and historical context may be important, for example. And these are often issues which are of particular concern to women. So that a second strand of feminist economics is a focus on topics of particular relevance to women, such as care work, unpaid work in the home, um, the gendered effects of austerity, um, the persistence of glass ceilings, These were the topics that Yvette Cooper was drawing attention to. So are you suggesting that the theoretical basis of economic thinking and argument tends to ignore a a perspective which touches on women's lives and that means that it's skewed in the way that it describes our, our society? Jim, that's exactly what I'm suggesting, and oh. that's um, the, the, the major contribution... And I'm a man, so there, I got, got it. Well, well look, that's... that's... A ma- the major contribution of feminist yeah. economics has been to draw attention to this unbalance, with, imbalance within the theory and the adverse implications it has for economic analysis. OK, in practical terms, Polly Trinow, as a, as a campaigner on these matters, what does that mean? Well, the Women's Budget Group advocate for a number of policies that seeks to make our economy more equal. We want to see a balance of investment in physical infrastructure like roads and rail with social infrastructure, so investing in hospitals and care homes, which will help women but will also help men who are carers too. We want to see things like helping work fit flexibly around people's caring and family responsibilities. So you're suggesting that in, in terms of policy... It's about dealing with those parts of life where women, for one reason or another, are more represented in the home, in different kinds of work where they want more flexibility if they've got a family, that kind of thing. Absolutely. That isn't taken enough attention. I mean, that's your argument that it's not... 57% of unpaid care workers are women and 90% of paid care workers are women, and yet the work they do is fundamental to the economy. It's an interesting point, this, Jane Humphreys, isn't it? Because if the argument is that economic thinking is skewed just in the way, not because of an inherent prejudice, but because just that's the way it's happened, then you you could argue that we've been looking at things in a kind of um, inadequate way, really. It's not a complete view of the way our society works. Well, it's certainly not complete, and it's it's probably also rather misguided. I mean, there's, um, as as we've just heard... um, a massive amount of, of constructive, useful work is actually completely undervalued um, and um, has no little esteem attached to it, for example. Um, I, I think feminist economics has fed back into mainstream economics in many ways. For instance, we now know that empowering women in um, in third world countries, for instance, um, means that... Um, that, in fact, um, there's levers on growth and... Mm. and um, well, it's a, ne- a necessary economic objective to, if you're going to change those economies for the better. Women have got to be, you know, I was going to say exploited, that's the wrong word, you know what I mean, pejoratively. Um, yes, and, and women um, reallocate resources within the households in, in a way which advances human capital and improves well-being, and that then ha- has... A leverage over economic growth. OK, Polly Trinow, in this country, do you think we're getting better at seeing the whole of the picture, which is your argument, uh, that, s- that we're not seeing it all? Yeah, I certainly think that there is a trend towards it. Um, for example, you need to look at Netflix in America, who's recently said they want to give full pay of a year for people who've just had children or adopted children. Yeah. What they recognise is that equality is economic sense. And I think we are shifting towards it, but there certainly needs to be a little bit more work. We could go on for quite a while. Polly Trinow, 
and Professor Jane Humphreys. Thank you both.